Punk Revolution now. Today we are going to be reviewing the movie Free Guy. Yes, I'm doing a movie review. I normally stick to music reviews, but obviously all my subscribers and people who watch my channel, if they are able to appreciate my reviews and the music I review, have high IQs and are absolutely capable of occasionally dabbling into the art of cinema, which is inferior to music, but once in a while in cinema there is a masterpiece that comes out that blows our fucking minds. For example, I gave Joker, when that movie came out, a 10 out of 10, an absolute masterpiece. You're welcome for calling that movie out as a classic. Lots of critics were not so crazy about it, but I was able to detect it as a classic, and now everyone in 2021, hindsight is 2020. We all know Joker is a fucking classic. Well, I have another movie for you that is the best movie to come out since Joker. This is Free Guy. Holy fudge. How do I describe this movie? Well, I would say there's two layers to this movie. You got this top layer, which is what I went into this movie expecting. You know, I watched the trailer. It looked kind of like, like a stupid, funny comedy action with some like sci-fi technology stuff going on, but mostly just like a stupid movie, maybe even pretty family friendly. This top layer of like, you know, family friendly action comedy is honestly very well executed. The action is fucking dope. There's plenty of fun, funny references to Marvel heroes. And there's a Rick and Morty little Easter egg in there. You know, just like very, it's just, it's, it's great. It feels like you're playing Grand Theft Auto. Very like, everyone's, it's very accessible. And that's, and that's well done. I've always, I always enjoy some stupid, funny action humor. But then you have this layer beneath it going on, and this is the layer for the adults. This is the layer for high IQ individuals, for people who understand Elon Musk, for people who understand technology, for the people who read about AI and technology and science. This is the layer that is commenting brilliantly on AI, technology, our existence in the universe. Do we live in a simulation? Is there a God? Capitalism and politics and, and romance and cyberpunk, like heavy, heavy topics that are very much debated, that are very difficult to wrap your head around. What does the future of AI look like? Is it going to be a dystopian? What are the ethics of creating AI? These are, these are tough topics that I've never seen a movie better encapsulate than Free Guy. You might remember that movie, Her, the Spike Jones movie. Every fucking film kid loves that movie. I think it's a great movie too. It's a very cool movie. Spike Jones is cool and everything. That's all great. But believe it or not, the commentary on AI and po the politics of AI and our society is equally as commented on by Free Guy as Her, if not even better in Free Guy. That is going on. That is the high IQ layer. We got the stupid funny IQ, the stupid funny layer, and then the high IQ layer. Not everyone's gonna be able to get this layer, but if you're someone who understands, it's gonna blow your freaking mind. And let's be real. It's, a, it's a, the video game theme is like that sounds dorky, but I love video games, and it's the video game theme is executed perfectly. It perfectly enca captures the, the video game culture of 2021, poking at the, the the corrupt game developers, while also kind of making fun of the video game community, while also calling out trolls, while also thinking about how we're all just killing each other in a simulation, and maybe we live in a simulation, and maybe there's a simulation within a simulation within a simulation. It's a mindfuck blow job to say the very least. Obviously this is a 10 and there's also, oh God, there's some romance in there too. Some, some, some good and some good anti-patriarchy pro-feminist commentary in there too. Can this movie get any fucking better? No. Best movie since Joker. Best movie to comment on our society since Joker. 10 out of 10. Do not let the stupid kind of, the stupid kind of video game theme scare you away. It's a masterpiece. Elon Musk and I are gonna go smoke a bowl and rewatch it. I'll put it this way. When I left the movie theater, I had a big ass smile on my face from laughing so hard and having so much fun. I got chills down my spine, but I also, on my walk home, I had a fucking existential crisis and it really sunk in that nothing we do matters and we all live in a simulation probably and we're all gonna fucking die, so. Yep, that's right. Masterpiece, if you say, if you ask me. Thanks for watching. Punk Revolution, and.